Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic. We are looking at the Autumn Equinox Tarot Spread. So during the Autumn Equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator and the northern and southern hemisphere get the same amount of rays. So what does the equinox actually mean? Well, really it means that it's the beginning of autumn and it lasts up until the winter solstice, mid-December. We can see changes where the leaves go from green to golden. We watch them start to fall and shed and bring in with it a time of change. Now, I'm not very good for changes, but I absolutely love this time of year. Back in the day, September was seen as one of the new years, was the new year. Um, so I'm not sure if I've got like an old vibe in me, but also uh, I think just with the schools going back in September, there always feels like there's... Um, it feels like it's a new start and I love seeing the colours changing I always love seeing the se different seasons that we have here in the UK um, and I love and they kind of all pretty much match, 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 match we've had a lovely lovely hot summer so some of the leaves have already started falling early and um, burnt off really so this change of air was quite welcomed really it's quite hot at times we're not really used to that but autumn equinox for me is a time of re-evaluating things, reassessing things. I look back over how much I've achieved, how much fun I've had in the summer, how much I've achieved in that spring summer months and where I can now start harvesting from that, what can I start reaping from that energy. I also start to slow down a little bit. The autumn time is a time where we start to slow down, ready to prepare us for winter. Um, and I start to think about what I'm going to be doing really for next year, but I'm doing it in a nice, slow, typical Tory and slow, steady way. But I'm looking at what I want to bring in for next year off the back of this year. For me, I have a million and one things that I always want to do. So some things do take several years to take get off the ground. Um, and you're kind of people, we want to get them done by Christmas. That's our next thing. I want to get that done by Christmas. So I now start to home in on things, prioritise things. I'm not so scattered. I start to tie up the loose ends. We have that Mercury in retrograde for the time being as well. So that brings us back a step, allowing us to just go over things. But we have the real positive energy of the full moon in Pisces that we had and the new moon in Libra which is going to bring us optimism um, and a positive vibe there. So a new cycle is approaching. Day and night become the same as we start to then move into the winter waning of that sun um, and it brings to a, a new chapter, a new cycle. So let's have a look at the tarot message that I created for you. First one, how can I find balance in my life how can I find balance in my life? Ooh, first one is about celebrations. Now, there's a sneaky pick in sneaky. I've got hair in my mouth. Sneaky uh, symbol in this card that I tend to use if I'm drawn to it, and it is the pumpkin in the bottom there. Now, this card really reminds me of end of October time, so this is perfect for this autumn equinox, the autumnal vibe that we're moving into. How can I find balance? It is about having some fun. It is about. Um, Enjoying yourself, letting your hair down, but also about becoming connected to like-minded friends, like-minded sisterhood, your sisterhood there, or your brotherhood. Now, uh, we've actually taken over our local church, taken over, we've um, actually, my husband, Colin, Mr. Flower, has become president of a new church, or whatever an old church but a church that's been closed we're revamping it and we're collaborating with we're working in a team of sisterhood and brotherhood we're really coming together so um i'm quite and we're opening mid-october so this is quite exciting for me but it is bringing a balance i'm going off on one i've given myself a personal reading it's meant to be for you guys um but what i'm also feeling for you guys is that um in that time your loose ends up in that time where you might be prioritizing things and trying to get things finished and done for the next chapter, for the next job, get some fun in as well. The sun hasn't quite gone down yet. What area needs letting go of? Okay, what area needs letting go of? Ooh, it's a tower card. Anything that you can't control. If you can't control it, no point in stressing about it. Sometimes the universe does its thing so that we can um, rebuild in a stronger way. I was only talking to someone at the weekend about this. Um, basically, they shafted me and then apologised. So my feeling with all of it was that, you know what, the universe may allow that to happen, allowed it, made it, whatever, created it, something created it, um, and it destructed everything. But from that, I was able to build a lot stronger, and I certainly wouldn't be where I am now without that destruction. So 
sometimes we need to let go of that control, we need to let go of what we want to do and allow the universe to do its own thing, even if we don't like it at the time, there's a bigger picture. So let go of things that are holding you back. What is changing for you? What is changing for you? Ooh, Ace of Wands, fabulous. New ideas are coming in. You're changing the way that you act, you're changing the way that you create, you're changing the way that you do things. This is a really, really good time, uh, this card for this time of year. Although this normally connects to springtime, I've said in my um, teachings before that sometimes I get it for September, sometimes I get this for early autumn, which is where we are now. So what is changing for you is going to be interesting, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be some wonderful opportunities coming your way, but new, new things there, new. How can I maximise my abundance now? How can you maximise, dropped half of them, how can you maximise your abundance now? Ooh, five of cups. So this says, leave things behind that no longer serve you. This says that what um, is broken is broken. You can look at fixing it or you can look at moving on. So this says, try not to look at the cup half empty, but look at it half full. So you can maximise your abundance by working on and concentrating on the good things and not worrying about the bad things or not worrying about what has gone wrong or lost but concentrating on what is going right around you law of attraction is you are what you think so if you're going to be down you're going to attract that but if you're going to be up you're going to attract that and here is your season tarot message it is the planner it is a commitment it is travel so your season tarot message says that idea i don't know where i put the card now that idea that spark of inspiration from the ace of swords can manifest into something much, much more. Planning, goals reaching, milestones that you're going to achieve, looking ahead to your future with excitement, looking ahead to your future with a vision. This is a very visionary and manifesting card. And sometimes it asks that you'll work with others. So there could be a couple of other people sharing that goal, sharing that vision, or wanting to help you live in your dream. Now, if you want that spread yourself, just message me. Otherwise, give it a bash and enjoy this beautiful new season that we're coming into.